Hi, I'm Terry. I've lost 175 pounds with keto and carnivore. Thank you for watching. Good morning. We are going to make <clears throat> our egg breakfast. Um, today, instead of doing my muffins, I'm going to do a casserole. Just going to try it. I haven't done that in a while. I was kind of craving some onions and peppers in my with my eggs. And so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm cracking 18 eggs into my thing. Also, I will be making, without onions and peppers, I'll be making some of my, my egg muffin tops. Um, just so I can have some around. I used them all up the other day with those sliders. So anyway, so I'm gonna do this. I've got my salt out so that way I can remember. I'm gonna put a little harissa in with it just to give it some fun flavor. Um, you know, sometimes I have people ask me if I ever make chaffles, and no, <laughs> I don't, because I am a bulk maker. I like everything in bulk. So I don't, and those chaffles are one thing at a time. So by doing the six, uh, the six muffin tops, that is that allows me to have six um you know three sandwiches if i wanted them so yeah that's the answer to that i'm not against it i think they're pretty cool but like i said i just i like everything in bulk because i am truly when it comes time to eat i don't want to do a lot of thinking and a lot of planning that's why i do all my planning and creating on saturday so i don't have to do anything for the rest of the week so, all I got to do during the week is grab it, plug it in, and go. So, I'm going to plug in a little bit of my no salt. Oh, gosh. I might have just totally ruined it. Put in just a little regular salt. And the thing is, I can't stick my finger in it and taste it because it's eggs. I'm gonna add some of this harissa to it, just to give it a little fun flavor. And some ground white pepper. This is enough for making one casserole, so it'll make uh, six servings. Before I do that, I want to make three of the muffin tops. I don't know what size I need to grab, so I'll just grab. I don't want them to be really big because I don't want to take away from my egg breakfast casserole, so. Believe it or not, I do not have any rutabaga. So, <laughs> if I had rutabaga, I could have shredded it up and put it at the bottom of this. Kind of like, uh, like a hash brown, but nope, I didn't. All right, so that's going to be my eggs. going to figure out how much bacon bits I always forget so hang on so I don't talk to your Alexa. I just want to do this part once so I've got some frozen onions and peppers and I'm going to saute them all up so this will be enough for one for breakfast this morning and two uh, the egg cast both egg casseroles so I'm going to Put a lid on this if I can find it, and I'll be working on sauteing it down. I'll come back in a little bit. It's coming along. It's the frozen onions and peppers, so they're still a little bit frozen in there, but I'm just going to saute them up. I sprayed it with duck fat, so there's not, I don't have a whole lot of um, extra fat in there. I'll just be the fat from the bacon pieces and the fat from the eggs. So I'm going to keep going. 
In the meantime, I have 84 grams of bacon pieces. I'm just gonna spread that throughout. These are gonna be thin just by looking at how it is in this thing, but um, I couldn't remember how, how many I used to do in a casserole. So since I wanted six, I wanted it to be controlled. And so, yeah, so I got this one. And then I weighed out 84 of the bacon pieces which is two servings per muffin, or, or per piece. Gotta say piece now, cause it's a, it's a casserole. Like I said, I just don't wanna have to think. It's almost like, you know, a lot of times we go on different plans, like um, I was in Nutrisystem and, you know, plans where you buy your food. I like it this way because it's like, it's almost like I've joined a plan where I've, <coughs> I've bought the food or all, all I have to do is eat the food and the points and all that other stuff is figured out for me by the time it's time to eat them. So that's why I focus really hard on measuring things on the weekends for the bulk stuff so then I don't have to do it later on when it's time to eat. It's just like I'm eating one of those fancy meal prep things. So I've got my cheeses measured out. Um, I'm gonna wait to put them on till after they've been baking. So, and um, yeah, I'm, let's go back and saute the, uh, let's go back and saute, finish with the onions and peppers. Now they're all defrosted and uh, I'm gonna leave the lid off of it to help let that uh, moisture evaporate out of there. I use the lid just to kind of help create heat and help it, help it heat up faster and defrost all the onions. So now I'm going to go on and work on letting it saute. In the end, I'm gonna leave a little bit because these are the three eggs that I cracked for my um, chicken parmesan the other day and they've just been sitting here waiting. So now I'll add a little of this and then cook this and That'll be good stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna keep working on this. I added just a, about, this was in the freezer, two tablespoons of butter. And then I put it down here and I'm burying it just to help give it a little bit extra flavor. So now I'm gonna keep working on sauteing it up. All right, now I'm gonna divide this up between the two, but leave enough for me to have some for breakfast this morning. So you see, it's not a whole lot that I'm putting in. It's not gonna make a whole big difference in the calorie range. It's just gonna add some extra flavor to it. And a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna kinda Spread them around a little bit so that way it's all over the whole thing. I'm going to bake this in the oven. Um, you know, it's funny. I think I might used to have used the uh, my small square one. That might be the one that I used to use. But it's okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Sorry, there's a little wrestling match going on in the other room. So I'm going to bake it for about 40 minutes and I'll see where it's at and then I'll add the cheese at that stage. So, okay, I'm going to put them away in the oven. Hey, 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 get back. I've got my uh, muffin tops going. They're definitely not done, but here those are. They're already in there. on the bottom. Oh. Hey Alexa, set a timer. Eggs, 40 minutes. Alright, so I'll see you all in 40 minutes. Right now I'm going to make my breakfast. 
So I'm taking these out. I'm gonna let them cool, but they're, they, they're, I poked them with the toothpick and they came out clean. So <clears throat> I'm going to let them cool and I'll put them in Ziploc bags in twos. So in, I could have three, three types of sandwiches or, or if I just wanted garlic bread with something, I could pop one out and put a little bit of um, butter and garlic on it. And um, yeah, so I can use those for all kinds of things. Okay, bye. It's been about 35 minutes. I just want to poke them and see how they're doing. They look like they're done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on and top them with cheese. I'm going to turn off my oven. I'm going to top them with cheese. This is going to be, uh, this is three servings of cheese. So that way it'll be a half of a serving of cheese on each piece. And then I'm going to put it back in the oven until the cheese melts. Again, I'm not, it's done cooking, so I'm not trying to cook it. I'm just trying to melt the cheese now. So my oven is turned off. I'll be back whenever they're melted. Okay, the cheese is melted. I'm gonna go on and cut them up into six pieces. This end is thicker, so I'll have these be a little bit smaller. And then these can be a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna, I'll pull this the foil out and let it cool. And that way, when uh, it's all cooled, I'll separate it from the foil and I'll put it in Ziploc bags. But now it's, uh, it's all cut up. So now I just got to scoop them out. So we're going to pull this foil out and let it go sit on the counter. By using that foil, I have no cleanup. These are nice and clean. They can cool and I can put them back in my counter and there's two less dishes to wash. Okay, so these are done. Here's my question to you all. I have made these egg casserole things in the past. Every time I do, they stick to whatever I'm cooking them in. I have tried using spray oil. I have tried using like poor liquid oil. I have tried everything. But I have never found anything that they it didn't. I mean, you can just see it just adheres to this. I mean, even if I use a skin, the like if I don't use foil, which is fine. Um, I use I have a glass one. It sticks to the glass one. I have a metal one. It sticks to the metal one. I don't know, you know, and then I go back and I on I go on YouTube and I watch videos about egg casserole. I don't ever see anybody cut it, so it's like or they or else they show them serving it on a plate, but they don't show the inside of whatever they've cooked it on. So that's my question to you: Do you have a trick that you use to keep your egg from sticking, other than? you know, using a Teflon skillet and making scrambled eggs. Do you have a foolproof method that works for you? Or is this just something that, something that we deal with? Um, now this one, I sprayed one of them with duck fat because I forgot on the other one. And this one is a, a little bit better, but you see it still adheres. There's still chunks of egg being left behind. And so I don't really know what the trick is. I've said in the past I wanted to try it in a crock pot. 
but I'm sure it'll stick to that too. So do you know of anything other than spraying with oil? Because obviously that doesn't work. And um, so I'm just trying to see if you all have any solutions for keeping your eggs from sticking. Like I said, this one's better, but it's not, it's not any, I still, it still sticks. So, well anyway, that's enough pissing and moaning. Uh, I'm gonna let these finish cooling in these Ziploc bags. I'm not gonna seal them up. And when they're done cooling, I'll put them, sip them up and toss them in the freezer. And I'll be able to grab them out just like I do my egg muffins. Okay, bye.